Well, he tried to break up a fight before he was gunned down in cold blood, and now his grieving loved ones believe the shooter is not the only one who bears responsibility. I mean, you have two families that done lost their loved ones over their lack of security, over their lack of safety. I mean, I just don't think they should be open no more. So now the east side bar whose parking lot played host to a mass shooting in late July could be shut down as the city council now urges the state not to renew its liquor license. Jordan Vandenberg has this story you will only see on five. A little over a month and a half ago, Cortez Ruffin was gunned down in the parking lot of the DPG lounge on the east side of Cleveland. Now with the bar's liquor license up for renewal, his family says it's time for some accountability. The crime scene tape dances in the breeze. It makes you remember what happened. But for Nicole Foster. But yeah, it's hard, very hard. It is impossible to forget. Me and him was real close. You know, he would call me every day. What's up, my dudes? What you doing? I mean, come over. I just miss him. A man with a sense of humor and cheerful disposition. Cortez Ruffin put family first. He was just 27. To lose a child is the worst thing that could ever happen to anybody. I wouldn't wish this nightmare on nobody. I mean, it's hard for me to sleep. Um, I'm, when I do go to work, I barely want to get out the bed. I do it because I have an eight-year-old son. It was late July. A crowd began to swell on the parking lot of the DPG lounge. Police estimated the crowd to be near 100 people. Two women began to fight. Ruffin, being a peacemaker, tried to step in. That's when he was shot a total of 10 times. The man they called Iron Man died a week later. They would have called the police in time enough to even for the crowd to even get as big and wild as it did. Then it would have been enough police there in the beginning, and he'd probably be still alive. To prevent another case like Ruffin's, the city council will object to the state renewing the liquor license of the DPG lounge. According to state records, the bar has been repeatedly sanctioned and suspended by the state, dating back to 2006. That bar is the type of bar that if you familiar with the neighborhood or live in the neighborhood, you can pretty much come in with a gun. Or if not, you could put the gun outside around the bar and go in and then once the bar is over, you come back out. For now, the bar remains open and the crime scene tape is still on the sidewalk. Both of them serving as reminders of what happened to Foster's beloved son. Oh, he would do anything for them, for us. Unfortunately, this one time, it took him away from us. The bar's owner has not returned requests for comment and no hearing date has been set. Reporting on the east side, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.